Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Cricket Captain 2023 and another part of the road to world number one with England. Today we start the three-match test series away from home to Pakistan. Um, of course, we've just beaten Pakistan 4-1 in the home test series. It's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. And of course, we have to go and pick our England squad, which means we've got to pick 18 players to go along with us and um, there have been quite a few requests for certain players one of them being uh, Jofra Archer he's somebody I think we, we need to get back into the, the test setup I don't know who he comes in for um, personally it, it, it's going to be very very tough to, to to bring him into it especially when his form is absolutely shocking. Uh, so we're going to bring him along anyway. Uh, in terms of um, um, a bowling, you know, we need another spin option. Um, so let's just have a little look at, at who's uh, available, of course. Uh, Verdi of, is a, a decent um, a spin bowler. Amar Verdi, uh, 26 years old these days. Looks okay, um, but it's, as I say, very tough to decide. We'll bring Josh Tung along with us as well. Ollie Stone, definitely somebody that could do the business. Um, let's have a little a little gander. Can we filter them to off spinners? I don't think we can. Um, bowling. Yeah, I suppose you could. Yeah, if we have a little look at um, off spinners, leg spinners. Uh, let's see, there's quite a few leg spinners out there. Matt Parkinson, definitely somebody to think about. Um, Mason Crane as well. Goodness me, going way back, but uh, they're all in horrible form. Yeah, my Verdi might be the the one to look at. I, I don't really want to take a Moan Alley. Don Bess, that's not a bad one. He's played 14 test matches. I can't believe that. I really can't. Don Bess, you know, has he, has he done all right this year? Let's have a look at his current year. Um, 25 wickets at an average of 28. You know what, Don Bess, he's going to come along with us. Uh, that's a, a name that I'd completely forgotten, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, in terms of batsmen, I think we want to have a little look at who had the most first-class runs this year. Uh, runs, there we go. Uh, Batting-wise is what we need, so there you go. Um, who's this guy? Haynes. He's 23. Jack Haynes from Worcestershire. Plays for the Manchester Originals and England. Averages 45 with the bat. Has had a decent year. What is he like playing against? Uh, strong pace, ball and preference. Strike rates. Uh, plays at number four. Okay. We have this guy as well. Tom Haynes, 25 years old. Looks okay. Um, all right. Ollie Pope's up there as well. Azad, goodness me. Some some names that I remember from previous cricket captain journeys. James Vince, wow. He wasn't so convincing though, was he? Yeah, pun intended. Sorry, folks. Uh, oh, yeah, very, very difficult. Uh, in terms of Bowling, let's have a, a little gander who had the most wickets this year. Uh, Ollie Robinson's up there. Let's get him back into the squad. Um, hmm, any more? I mean, this guy, Russell, who, who's he? Alex Russell. Hmm, could be a possibility. Spin specialist. Players at number nine. How's his batting? Oh, his batting's pretty shocking. Average is nine in first class cricket. Uh, 95 wickets, though, at an average of 29. You know what? We might give him a go. Who does he play for? Northamptonshire. I have no idea who's um, Division 1, Division 2 now, but uh, 
We'll go for that. I think that's decent. You know, our batting lineup's pretty solid. We don't really need to take anybody for that purpose, but uh, we'll give a little bit of extra batting practice to some of our key players to try and get them G'd up. Jimmy Anderson, a bit of ball and practice. Uh, Rayan Ahmed as well needs a bit of ball and practice. And then who else do we put in there? Do we go for the two spinner options? And in that case, you know what? I'm going to give Russell a, a go. If if Russell is, or if it's a spinning pitch, which we're expecting it to be, come on, we're in Pakistan, um, then that's what we're going to do. Um, bit of physio for Mark Wood there as well. He was looking pretty ropey. Jofra Archer, bit of ball and practice. Try and get him ready for later on in the series. In terms of field and practice, let's give Ben Folks a little bit of keeping practice and Ollie Pope. Uh, ben Stokes actually we're going to give a little bit of field and practice to him okay let's continue on then to this first test match and I, I am a little bit nervous actually about how this could go uh, if we look at the conditions you know it's not looking massively wary um, I think it would be a mistake to have all of those guys in there I think Chris Walks needs to be in for Ollie Robinson and Stuart Broad, do we really need Stuart Broad in there? Do we give Archer a, a run out? You know what? I'm going to actually take some risks with me, me line up here. Um, Zach Crawley's going to open. Ollie Pope at three. Root four. Brook five. Forks at seven behind uh, Ben Stokes. Uh, Chris Wilkes is going to play at eight. Um, Jofra Archer is going to be our opening bowler with Jimmy Anderson. Or oh, Chris Walks is going to be, actually. Then we bring in Jofra Archer as the release player. This is a risky lineup. Uh, it really is. But I'm intrigued. Oh my god, we lost a full star of Brayton there. Right, Tails never fails. And it really doesn't. Right, we're going to bat first. We're going to get some runs on the scoreboard. We're going to hope that Rayan Ahmed really does bring about his best form. Basball in the subcontinent. And a real opportunity for us to Big appeal. smash Pakistan here. Well, that's not far away. And that's what we're, we're planning on, basically. Just played them. We we know their game plan. We know who their good players are. That's a good ball from a free Ian Crawley's gone. He's out for ten, and already we're one down for less than twenty. Beautifully timed. Good shot from Pope there for four. Nice shot from Ben Duckett. Lots of people there were saying in the comment section that we should uh, drop Ben Duckett. Couldn't disagree more. Ben Duckett's uh, been awesome. That looks like it's going to the I'd mouth. love to see his average, actually. What a shot. Or maybe have a little gander at that. Let's just have a little look at his test match average. I mean, 46, that's pretty damn good. And if you look at his current year so far, although that's been slightly lower at 40, you know, still 350s. Um, he's, he's still doing a good job opening the baton for us. No way he needs uh, to go. Oh, somebody said uh, have no. Stokes. Uh, opening the baton. Speaking of which, he's gone for 20. They're Not appealing. doing uh, doing me much good there, Ben. Oh, Pope's oh. gone as well. Oh, wow. 63 for three. This is very good from Pakistan. And now need a, a Joe Root special, really. Yeah, nice one. Good four there. Brook in there as well. He's had a, a fabulous time of things over the summer. Open. Superb drive. Off goes the for it again. An excellent well, this drive is there. just absolutely brilliant from Harry Brook. What a start to his innings. 14 minutes left until lunch. Would be nice to get past 120 or so. I think we're definitely capable of that. He oh, the Brook's gone. Speed. Big edge. He's out for 17. And now 103 for four. And that's high in the air, one Excellent. bounce four, lunch interval day one, 113 for four then. Harry Brook there on 28 and 
Ben Stokes there on six. That's a good looking drive on the off. And well, need to score at least 350, you would say, to be a par score. Batting first on a dry pitch. Or Pakistan are just going to take advantage. That's yeah, good. that was good running from those two there. Shot. Good shot. Oh, that's high in the air. It's going to be six. Well, we Brilliant runs ball. from Ben Stokes. And there's a four as well. Hopefully we're now taking it to Pakistan. We're going to up the aggression slightly here. And that's very well played. And hopefully well played. that's going to be... He had no Harry Brook playing some awesome shots. And there's 50. What and a with a beautiful six, six as well. Ben Stokes getting the bat out as well, doing a great job. He's in towards 50. And this is getting us towards 200. Oh, oh but Brooks gone. He's out for 60. Ben Fawkes comes to the crease. He's oh, out. and he's gone second ball. Oh, that's huge. You know, getting walks out for a duck, that's massive for, for Pakistan, but... Uh, yeah, Ben Stokes is definitely taking it Brilliant to them, but Walks has gone for two. Rayan Ahmed comes to the crease. Good ball. What can Ben Stokes do now? Oh, not a lot. He's gone. He's out for 55. Joffre Archer comes to the crease, and I always say he can have a swing, but never really materialises. Really Although that's gone ball ball. Yeah. big. It's amazing. Already on 200, we'd scored 100 shot, runs man. very, very quickly there. I'm hoping Rayan Ahmed finds himself with the bat. He is technically an all-rounder. But um, never really seen the evidence of it in this series. Jofra Archer hooking the ball for four. Good return to the side. Oh, and that's going to be six. He's really oh, oh. Right out of the park. wow, awesome. And I'll tell you what, if we can get the 250, that would be absolutely mugging a Pakistan off here. Because uh, they've done an awesome job. There you and go, 250 up though. Team will day one, 254 for eight. And these two going very nicely on 29 and 27. Jaffa Archer in particular, very impressive with the bat. Does, of course, have a first-class sentry under his belt. He's no slouch with the bat, but there he goes for 34. And now, well, Rayan Ahmed hopefully going to keep the strike. And James Where's Anderson is hopefully going to stay in, although he's hit that well, long and he's out. Catch. Well, he's out for three. Should never have been playing that shot. But Rayan Ahmed, that's his top test score, I believe. Um, yes, 31. So, well played to Rayan Ahmed, who gets us up to 267. And fingers crossed, we can bowl quite well at Pakistan and uh, get some wickets. Jimmy Anderson and Chris Wokes opening the ball. And Anderson into Shafiq here, and that's a good delivery. Not out. Not out this time. Anderson in all hack. That is gone. He's out for three. Terrific start for Jimmy Looks like he's bowling nicely, oh. and there's Shafiq uh, gone as well. He's out for nine. Pakistan two down now. Oh, and Chris Walks gets Shaquille. He's out for uh, seven. And Pakistan 36 for three currently. Anderson into his arm, and that's going to be out as well. Jimmy Anderson, three wickets already. He's gone for six. And Anderson doing an awesome, awesome job. Right, Jofra Archer is going to return. I'm going to have... Uh, Rayan Ahmed from the other side. Here comes oh, Archer oh, in, and uh, no Sahil chance. is gone. He's out for 15 and 49 for five here. Well, end of day one, 52 for five. We're going to have Archer and Anderson opening up the ball. And I'll tell you what, nice and tight so far. Archer into Rizwan, edged, he oh, and he's dropped. Well, could be a biggie moment, that. Walksy into Tahir now. That's got to be out. Big, well, thin, uh, big inside edge. He's gone for 30. 98 for six. I'm going to bring Stokes in for 
A bit of a ball. He went for 10 in his first over, though. Not fabulous. Stokes into a free. Oh, he's gone. He's out for 31. They're now seven down. But they've escaped a little bit here, Pakistan. Obviously, we're... Five down pretty Fabulous cheaply. Delivery. Anderson into Sharp. Mm, that's outside the line, unfortunate. Oh, it's no! Given. It's given! Well, doesn't look too happy about it, but wow. Well, I thought that was outside the line. Apparently not. Beautiful in-swinger from Jimmy Anderson, and that's four wickets for him. Can he get five? Oh, well, that was catchable. Archer into Ghoul. He's been beaten by that. Not quite. Archer has balled well into Rizwan. Oh. He's gone as well. He's out for 65. And, well, Archer into Ghoul. Well, the oh, what a, what a wonderful Great catch that is from Zach Crawley. And Pakistan, 196 all out. Jimmy Anderson, 4-4-41. Absolutely fabulous. Gets himself onto 752 test wickets now. Um, and Jofra Archer, what a return. 3 for 46. We'll settle for that. Seems like a decent selection from us. None for Rayan Ahmed, though. In uh, the subcontinent. I mean, the only ball two overs, <laughs> to be fair. My bad. Oops. Right. Anyway, we're now setting the score. We need to go and uh, get a big total here. And it's only day two. Mm, Crawley's gone. He's out for six. Not a good start of the series for him. And that's uh, dug it out as well. He's out for seven. 14 for two. It's a big shout. Oh my god, Root's gone as well. He's out for a duck. 15 for three. Oh, Brook starting to be that was close. sensible, but wow we He's beaten by that. Usually our batting lineup is pretty good, pretty solid. Yeah, nice shot from Pope. We need big scores from these two, really. Sentry a ple a piece, please. Don't want to get Stokes in and be on less than a hundred. So he's edged it. <sighs> An almighty... He's okay. He's safe. And that's going to be runs. Yeah, they're batting sensibly, which is nice to see. Picking off the bad deliveries, and I think once you're in on this pitch, it's is it's good. But before? as Pakistan showed, it's um, it's it's very tricky to what to get in. You know, it seems like a a good bowler's pitch, this overall. Great ball. Harry Brook into the 40s. Good shot. Oh, and there's another one. Beautiful. Brook with the 50 once again. It would be nice if he can convert this one. I think he deserves another big score. It's certainly there for the take. And Pope goes to 50 as well. Good to see. Here comes Azam into Pope. Oh, and that's going to be six. Huge runs. Six runs. Very good. And the lead over 200 now. End of day two. 152 for three. Let's keep that going. Fingers crossed they, they can go and convert into sentries. The back turns in his hand. Edged but safe. Here comes a Freedy into Pope. Ooh -hoo. Yes, it was a little ropey that one. Oh, a blinding shot. Just up in the aggression ever so slightly. <laughs> oh, he's not out. That must have been a whisker away from the outside edge. Good shot from Harry Brook there. And another full toss. Hit away for four. Beautiful runs into the 90s now, Wally Pope. Well, oh, and what a catch. A catch. Harry Brook gone for 91. What a shame. But, um, well, Ben Stokes, he comes to the crease. He knows he needs to play a captain's knock as well. And there's 100 for Wally Pope. Brilliant from him. And that's his century. Lovely. You know, he's had a lot of doubters. 
in real life and in this series so it's wonderful to see him go and get a big hundred and hopefully Ben Stokes can find his form from the first innings played well lunch interval day three 236 for four that's a lead of 307 it's starting to get into a very decent lead here that's out I think Ollie Pope gone excellent innings definitely could be a match winning one he's out for 114 brings Ben Fawkes to the crease and we're now five down But yeah, we've got Forks, Stokes and Walks <laughs> still to come. So, it's a chance. And, and there you go, Forks has gone. He's out for a tough te test match for him. Especially shot. with the, the drop shot. Uh, dropped uh, catch from behind the wicket as well. Timing is not, not fabulous from him. And that's very well played. Very nice from Ben Stokes. He's heading towards 50. Well hit. You feel once he gets to 50, let's just up the aggression. And Chris Walk's starting to hit boundaries as that well. Looks like it's going to the There's boundary. another one. Good it's cricket. fourth of the innings already. And, you know, we can afford to take our time. 300 up now. And that's going to take us towards a, a 400 lead. And, and that's four. certainly going to be in a almost unassailable position you would say excellent Four shot more, from Chris Walks Ben Stokes past 50 T interval day 3 324 for 4 for 6 sorry that's a lead of 395 right time to go for it let's see how many of these two can score cracking stroke oh lovely reverse sweep for 4 there from Chris Walks. Oh, and that's a conventional sweep. Oh, what a but it's caught. <laughs> He's gone. He's out for 38. Oh, Ryan Ahmed comes in. Fresh from his 31, not out in the first innings. And picks up where he left off. Good four there. I was a bit worried. I'm not going to lie. That's gone right. And that's why. He's out for nine. Right, Jofra Archer. Oh, he picks up where he left off as well. Nice one. Right, Ben Stokes. Let's see what you're made of, son. Yeah, another four for Archer. A savage shot. Ben Stokes just whacking it about, which is lovely to see. That's a powerful off drive. That was so <sighs> close to finding the edge. Not quite, but heading towards a 450 lead. Oh, it. oh it's a dropped a catch. Well, catch. that's not good from Pakistan. And that could cost them dearly because Jofra Archer can stick about with Ben Stokes here. What's the umpire going to say? And slipping down very leg. Close, but I think he got a touch. So two very, very close calls for Ben Stokes. That looks like it's and this time let glance for four Beautifully and now an off cutter or, or cover drive really and uh, got the one there at the end of the over heading towards his sentry he oh inside edge for That's four for the boat. this is brilliant archer hits a Excellent four as placement. well fabulous That's very very close indeed not out Didn't really look slipping down legs yeah Outside the line as well. He's timed that well. But that's what I mean. Archer can can swing a bat. He really can. And there's a great shot again from Ben Stokes. Is the key there. It's reached his century. And there's his century. And the 400s up as well. I'm gonna up his aggression even more. Try and get him to start hitting some sixes. That hits the pads. That's and gonna be out. gone. Yeah, what a shame. Ben Stokes finally gone for 109. Absolutely brilliant. And now Jofra Archer. Oh, I think Anderson's gone first ball. Oh, he's not actually. Oh, four leg buys. We'll settle for them. 
Every little helps. And almost 500 is the target. And there you go, Archer's gone. He's out for 21. 416 all out. Setting Pakistan a target of 488 runs to win in a couple of days. They've got plenty of time to do it once again. You know, chasing 500. They got very close in the in the summer. Hoping that uh, that doesn't happen. Chris walks into Old Hat. Gone! Oh, brilliant. He's gone. For seven and remember we were what 14 for three or something in that first uh, second innings it was uh pretty insane wasn't it but um yeah i don't think we can see that at this moment can we match analysis mm, scorecard yes england second innings uh 15 for three and managed to get 416 all out that was pretty good middle order performance Anyway, Anderson into Shaquille. Uh, not quite. One over left. End of day three. 28 for one. I'm going to bring Jofra Arche in with Jimmy at the start of day That's four. It's a good delivery, but not quite. doesn't quite manage it. Archer into Shaquille. Edged and gone. He's out for nine. Two wickets down now, Pakistan. Come on. Anderson into his arm. He completely misread Oof. the line. Anderson into Azam again. Inside edge. Archer into Azam. Gone. He's out for 23. Second wicket for Jofra Archer. Good return to the side for him with bat and ball. Oh, that was close. Anderson trying to get a wicket there. Right, Rayan Ahmed is going to come in with Chris Walks. And a, a decent partnership in the sum of these two. Um... Going to give Joe Root a bit of a ball as well, just before lunch. Day four lunch, 105 for three. Come on, Rayan. Hasn't had a, a good match with the ball, but this... Mm, I thought that could have been his first wicket, but must be missing leg. Oof, by an absolute whisker as well. Anderson's going to ball from the other end. So I'm hoping Rayan Ahmed can just hold an end... That's a confident appeal. No, nope, he's still there. Think that's Just. missing off stump. Well, it wasn't, but outside the line. Ryan Ahmed into Shafiq. Perfect length. It's been a bit unlucky so far, Ryan. Oh, that's a good delivery from Anderson. I think Sir Hale's gone. Yes! Anderson gets his first wicket of this innings. He's gone for 46. And uh, Pakistan now four down. Still needing over 300 to win. Here's Archer into Tahir. Edged and gone. He's out for nine. Archer doing the business. Rayan Ahmed worryingly. Not getting any wickets, but Shafiq's gone for 79. That's surely the resistance over now. Here comes Ahmed into Afridi. He's oh, he's dropped it. Well, T interval day four. Archer in from one end, Anderson in from the other, Anderson into a Freedy. Not out, but two deliveries Four later. Shots. Oh, it's down the leg the side. Believe it, but Anderson's so unlucky. New ball available. Let's chuck it to these two. Anderson in. He's that oh, one. Edge for four. Archer into a Freedy. Edged and gone. 5 4. Joffre Archer. Found the edge. Oof. Well, we're so close now. 220 for seven. Chris walks into Rizwan. What a great oh, catch. Oh, my goodness. How many dropped catches? And that could be Shah out. It is. Anderson gets his second wicket of the innings. Very good from him. And let's bring Ben Stokes in for a couple of overs. Miles away. To try and finish it off, walks into Rizwan. The was completely beat. I mean, to be fair, let's try and get Ahmed his first wicket. It's been a tough old match for him. Ahmed into goal. He's miscued that. Mm, edged. End of day four then. And still not gone. These Pakistan players. Anderson into goal. Bowler appeals. 
think that's well, slipping that down leg. Close, but the says not out. And they still need over 200 runs. They're not going to win, but they're frustrating us. Yeah. Chris Walks now in. Rayan Ahmed in as well. Ahmed's first over of the day. In a Rizwan. That was close. Surely can't hang on. Ahmed into goal. Surely this is the one. That's got to be a wicket. And it is. He's finally got his first wicket of the match. And hopefully, like London buses, you wait ages for one. And then two come along very quickly. And what was that? Was that a play that missed? Gone! Finally, there we go. Ahmed gets two wickets and uh, we are all done. As Pakistan are pulled for 278 all out and we win by 209 runs. Excellent uh, bowling from Jofra Archer throughout the match. Uh, eight wickets for a grand total of 109 runs for him. Jimmy Anderson, good match for him. Gets himself on to 754 test match wickets. Very good. Uh, but Ollie Pope, Ben Stokes, big centuries for them. Ben Stokes manages to get man of the match. And, uh, well, you know, I have to say uh, some very good performances in there from lots of different players. Um, and it was a team performance. 209 runs we win the first test match by. And, uh, well, we'll see how we get on in the next episode. So if you have enjoyed that, Give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Cricket Captain videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.